Hey guys, what's up? I'm um, just doing an unboxing today. This just showed up today. It's from Switch Easy. It's their new trim case, and I've actually been dying to get this. I ordered it the day it came out, and it didn't come Saturday, but it did show up today. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up here. So let's just crack right into this. But if you want this, um, I believe it, I want to say it comes in three colors and it is available for $20 on Switch Easy's website. I want to say it's only a few bucks for shipping. They don't include a price query, so I can't really confirm that. But here we go. And this looks just like a lot of Switch Easy's new packaging. Um, this is the first one I've had, but I've watched a few reviews and all of them come with this new style look. But let's go ahead and just cut right into this. Let me get the tape off the sides here or wherever they are hiding so we can crack right into this and there's more somewhere or I just don't know how to open there we go there's a big thing of tape right here on the bottom all right hopefully that will be enough that we can get this open because unfortunately on the website it really did not show that much details about it and that's all that's in the box it's just that there's nothing here, it's just a plastic insert, says everything it comes with. But let's just go ahead and take a look at everything it comes with once we can pop this out of the case. There we go. Have to destroy the packaging, but that's okay. Get that out of there. And first of all, let's dig into the goodies here. This which is you always gives a pretty good amount of gear to come with it. And this one is no exceptions. So we have just a dock stand that comes with two different colors of dock adapters. I just drew a, drew a total blank. Two dock covers and one earphone plug. So put those to the side. And in the case, which actually feels pretty heavy, is just a cloth, a little squeegee to put the screen shield, shield of shields, screen shields down. It does come with two of them and a just little white insert that's cardboard. Let me just go ahead and get this out and we'll pop the phone in. Yep, nothing in there, just shows how it looks. Now the case itself, it does have a back, it's kind of just a plastic glossy, well it's not glossy, it's just kind of a plastic matte look to it. And they really didn't show that that well on the website, I wasn't sure if this was actually here or if it was just a bumper style. But you guys can tell it does have ridges on it, the back is just that matte look. And let's go ahead and just pop the phone right in here. Let me take it out of its current case, which the review will be coming up for very quickly. It's the iFrog's Lean. And it's a pretty good case, actually. It's just kind of a wraparound case, but because of the style of the iPhone 4, it works really well. Let me just give this a wipe down. Put together, and I'll actually just go ahead and put this in the standby mode and set it in here. Now you will notice that the edges are raised up a bit so it definitely gives well it's just like trim on the side of a house really but let me go ahead and pop this in here button side first of course and there we go and on the bottom rail here you will notice that there's a little switch easy icon which I like the fact that they put it here instead of somewhere on the back because a lot of times they'll just make it look kind of crappy but holding this in the hand it kind of grips your hand kind of grips it weird where it's not going to go anywhere but these rails do kind of I don't want to say cut into you but you definitely feel their presence now you noticed right there a second ago I did have a little bit of a bubble there but this screen shield has been bubbled up since pretty much applying it you'll see I didn't get it perfectly straight so it looks like it's not going to have any screen shield issues the buttons are nice and tactile the the silent button is actually really easy to get to with just the side of your finger now the headphone port, you're not probably going to be able to get a lot of bigger headphones in there. You'll have to stick with just a standard. But all the buttons are easy to get to. Since it's black on the back, you won't have any flash issues. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. I mean, everything's cut out nicely on the bottom, individual for each one. And I'm not sure. I really like, I like the idea of the case, but because of the actual curves and really kind of jaggedness of the edges pieces here... This may not be something that stays with me. I may end up giving this one away, but only time will tell. Uh, the review will, of course, be posted here in a week or so once I fully test it out and see how it does over the next few days of using it. But, guys, this was the Switch Easy trim. Again, it does come with two screen shields, two dock adapters. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and put all these little inserts in here and see how well they line up with the trim pieces itself. 
So just bear with me one moment here. There we go. That definitely took a little bit of work to get done, but once you get that in there, it definitely does lay flush with the rest of it, so there's no issues with that. Let's get the top piece in here, and this, they actually cut that out a little different, because what they did, let me get this in here and I'll show you if I can, because these pieces are tiny. There we go. What they did is actually really nice. Instead of just making one, come on, autofocus, there we go. Instead of making one that covered this whole thing, they left it so the external microphone is still there, so you still get the noise canceling feature of that, which is a really nice little fu function they did. But it lines up pretty nicely. The bottom was, of course, as you guys saw, a pain to get in. The top went in pretty much no problem. It actually lines up very nicely with that. Let me uh, show you this here. And if I have to, I'm actually just going to switch this to manual focus. So, there we go. And so you guys can see that actually lines up really nice and close right there. So it doesn't look any different. It looks like it actually is made and just cut out straight from this piece. So overall, pretty impressed so far. Like I said, with the edges the way they are, they definitely cut in a little bit. Let me turn manual focus back off. So that may be a killer because I can see that causing issues or this just catching on a bunch of stuff. But like I said, only time will tell. But guys, this was the Switch Easy Trim. It does retail for $20 plus a little bit of shipping. And it comes with this little dock stand, which go ahead and demonstrate. And it will work in landscape and portrait mode. So that's always cool. And why is this not focusing? One second. And there we go. Okay, so it'll work in landscape and portrait mode. It comes with the two dock adapters, one black, one white. So it'll match whatever you're using. Two dock adapters, one is on here, the phone of course. Only one headphone port adapter, which is kind of odd, because that would be, in my opinion, the one you would lose. And just a microfiber cleaning cloth and the little squeegee to help put the screen shields down. Well, not squeegee, it's more of a cardboard, but you guys know what I mean. But guys, this is Nick. This was the unboxing of the Switch Easy Trim, and I will see you all in the next video.